Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to learn how to rate tones inside the Roland Phantom O. All right, let's get started. So the Phantom O comes with well over 4,000 sounds right out of the box, and it can get kind of confusing when you're like, okay, where are the tones that I like to use? Because there's well over 4,000. I think it's a 4,500 or more. And then, of course, you can go ahead and download more sounds from a Roland Cloud or go ahead and make up your own user. So there's a lot of sounds. All right, so in my particular Phantom, I have over 8,000. So I definitely need to be organized so I can find the sounds I want to use quickly. All right, here's how you do it. So in a previous video, we were talking about looking at tones. And so it doesn't matter where you are. I'm just choosing a random scene. I'll press single tone. And I, we learned that if I hit any of the category buttons and I go ahead and hit it again, it pops it open. All right. And from there, I can go ahead and just choose whatever tone I would like to use. And then by touching the screen, using my cursors or using my dial wheel. 81. So let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, go ahead and rating them. So let's say in my electric piano section, you see I already have some rated in here. I'm going to go through these and let's say I look at this particular page and I want to go ahead and say, all right, let's give this one a listen. All right. If I determine that that's something I want to go ahead and uh, as one of my favorites, here's how you do it. Right here, I have a rating knob. If I go ahead and spin the knob, I can rate it by one star, two star, or three star. So if it's something that you really like, obviously you could put three star. Something that's, uh, you know, it's okay. You know, maybe I can use it. Or maybe one that like, okay, I just want to have that one there. Okay, it's, it's made the cut for me. So I can go ahead and say, all right, let's go ahead and do this one one star. Uh, maybe I'll go in and say, well, let me go ahead and find this dino. I like that, like the little bit of a bite that it has to it. I can go ahead and hit two stars, for example. And now I'll go into, say, a phase stage. And let's give this one a listen. Say, I really like that one. I can go ahead and rate that one to three. So I have them there. Now, what? I have these there, but I have all of these other ones. How do I go ahead and get rid of those so I can just only call up the ones that I have rated? Very easy. I can go ahead and hit the star button, and it brought those to the top of the page. So you see here we have that first one that was rated as one star, my Dino EP, which is rated as two, and there is my other one, my phase stage, which is three star right there. So very easy. So I can come in, unselect the rating system, and it goes back so I can look around, have access to all the sounds. But if there's something else that I want to go, uh, but if I want to separate those that are rated, just hit the star button. Little note, if I have this on, and I move to another category, it will do those that are rated. So you notice there were some that weren't rated, but the ones that are, it'll go only to my favorites very fast. All right, so let's take this, uh, let's go ahead and find one that doesn't have anything rated. I'm gonna go to the clav section. So let's, let me unselect this. There's on my harpsichord. I'm gonna go to the clav. Okay, great. And let's go ahead and find some clavs that uh, we can use real quick. So I might want to have this. Uh okay, I'm going to go ahead and rate this one a two. Great. Uh, I might, I've always liked this clavaduck. This is a good old sound. I really like that sound. I'll grate this at a three. And so now when I go to my clavs, I can just press that star rating and it brings them up very quickly, the ones that I tend to use. Okay, obviously the ones that I have that uh, have Ed, that means I've edited them and my name is Ed, so it just works out that way. As you can see, rating tones inside the Phantom O is very, very easy. Once again, all I have to do is just go inside and choose a category, and then once I'm in that category or subcategory, all I have to do is grab the rating, and I can rate them, and then if I wanted to separate them from everything else, 
Just press the knob and it will go ahead and bring all those that have been rated to the front. All right. I hope this helps you out. You guys take care and we'll talk to you later.